Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, if you can't already tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a wash and go featuring the new uh, Eco Styler Black Castor Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. So when I seen I seen this floating around on YouTube for a while, but I was like I couldn't find it um, in my base place near me. I live in Canada, so. I don't know, sometimes you get products late, so I couldn't find it. I randomly went into my beauty supply store last week, and then I seen it, and I was like, yes, like, I have to pick this up because my hair loves black castor oil. I don't use it as often as I used to just because it's so thick, and I don't know, I just get lazy at times, so I usually use coconut oil these days, but my hair does love black castor oil, and I remember when I first started um, doing wash and goes, I used to boil the flax seeds and use um, the flaxseed gel. So when I seen that they made an eco style gel that had black castor oil and flaxseed oil in it, I was like, yes, like, girl, you need to pick this up. So, I can open this. Ah, so it's like a pop top down, not like a screw on top, like how the, um, the other gels have, which I actually like that. It's actually, because I used to lose my lid all the time. But this is how it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, it has like a little shimmer to it. It's like sparkles in it or something. Mmm. Mmm, this smells pretty good, actually. Mmm, it smells like... I don't even know what it smells like. It smells good, though. It doesn't have a bad scent. I'm not really a stickler on scent anyways, so that wouldn't bother me regardless, but... I think it kind of feels the same, but it's not as... It's not as tacky. Can you see that? Like the other gel, like when you do this, like it kind of sticks together a bit before it breaks apart. But this one, it's not as tacky as the other one. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess we will see. Anyways, let's get started and then I'll let you guys know in the end of the video how I feel about it. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair as per usual. And I'm just taking out my hair out of my t-shirt. You already know the drill. I say this in every single video. I know you guys are getting sick of me saying this. But anyways, I'm sectioning off my hair. Nothing new. And as you can see, I actually left some conditioner in my hair by accident. When I was rinsing out the deep conditioner in my hair, I guess I missed some pieces or some areas. But it's no big deal. It's not going to hurt my hair. So whatevs. Anyways, I'm just taking my spray bottle and just re-wetting my hair just because I like to work with really damp or wet hair when I'm doing wash and go, so I like to keep a spray bottle on hand. But yeah, so I'm taking my Cantu leave-in conditioner and then I'm taking my coconut oil and I'm sealing in that moisture. Okay, and now I'm just further sectioning my hair just to make it easier for me to work in smaller sections. And now I'm going to be taking my spray bottle again. And then my Cantu, what is this called? The Coconut Curling Cream. It's going to be my styler. Okay, and now I'm about to go in with the uh, Eco Styler Gel. Just taking a, I don't even know how much that is. And then I'm just smoothing it throughout the section. And then um, you're actually going to see me do the shingling method. So what that means is I'm going to take each individual curl and uh, smooth the product through. I just find that I get a more defined wash and go when I do this. And my curls just look more juicy and plump. So that's what I'm doing right here. If you guys want a more detailed um, wash and go doing this method, just let me know in the comments down below. So here's just a close up of what I was talking about, the shingling method. And now I'm just going to continue the process throughout the rest of my hair. And this is what my hair looks like with all the product in it. Hey guys, welcome back. So it has now been, what time is it right now? It is 1.40 p.m. So I started the air drying process yesterday at around 2. So it's almost been 24 hours. Um, my hair is still a little wet in like this area. But for the most part, my hair is dry. So it's like about... 
95 97% dry. Sorry, I'm in my, my work clothes. I literally just came from work and I just turned on my camera to let you guys know my final thoughts on this product. Sorry, my face is itchy. Anyways, so as you guys can see, this is my final results and I do like it. Um, let's start with the pros. So, first things first, I do like this gel. I like, um, I like that my hair is very soft right now like very very soft i'm actually very surprised about it um i think it's probably because of all the oils um in this product also um i don't have a hard cast like usually the, the next day i have to like scrunch up the crunch which i usually actually don't mind um the crunch because i feel like it gives me like a stronger hold and i can have my wash and go last longer but it's kind of nice that my hair is really soft right now there's no crunch to it at all so i don't want to touch my hair too much but that's also a plus and uh, the smell my hair doesn't smell like anything oh wait oh jeez. no my hair doesn't smell like anything but when you when you open it i think it you know what initially i thought it smelled pretty good but now that i'm smelling it again it does kind of smell perfumey which i don't know it doesn't bother me because my hair doesn't smell like that anyways plus i'm not really a stickler for smell anyway but some people who might hate fragrance products might not like that, but it doesn't bother me. Your hair doesn't smell like that anyway, so yeah, my hair doesn't smell like that anyway, so that's fine. Um, a con though that I did not like about this product, I had to use a lot more product with this than I normally would with my Eco Styler, um, the Argan Oil one. And I don't know, <clears throat> sorry. I don't know why because they both say it has a maximum hold of 10 which is the strongest hold in the eco styler line but for some reason I had to use more product to hold my hair with this than I ever do when I use this like and even like some of the parts I'm still have to go over again because I don't know if you guys can tell yeah come on like my ends are like a little just a little bit Okay, feel like focus. My ends are just a little bit frizzy. I don't know if you could. The camera's not even really picking it up, but I'm gonna have to like even when my hair is drying too. Like some parts that I seen that were like a little bit frizzy, I had to take a little bit of gel and go over it. So I didn't really like that because when I use this one, once I do my like once I put the gel in once, then I'm good. I don't have to go over it unless it's like a few days later or something like that. But this when my hair was drying, I had. I noticed a few pieces that were kind of getting frizzy so I had to like go over it with the gel and even now that my hair is dry like there are some frizzy pieces in the back that I'll probably have to go over but I mean I guess it's not a huge deal but that is kind of annoying um, when it comes to this product um, another positive thing is that um, normally when I use um, certain products with um, what leave-in did I use? I use my Cantu leave-in conditioner and the coconut curling cream. So sometimes, depending on the product I use with it, um, sometimes it could leave like some white stuff. Um, I think that has more something to do more so with the Cantu products. But um, this, like, there's no white stuff in my hair left at all, so no white residue. So that's good that this, um, at least with my hair, it worked well with the Cantu. I know I have I have seen some other YouTube videos and a lot of people say that the Cantu um, doesn't mix well with other products. So that's good that this one did, that this one did mix well with it, at least for my hair. Um, but yeah, overall, would I buy this one again? I don't know, maybe, I like it. Like I like that it has the oils and I like that that my hair is soft right now and even look at the volume like normally i wouldn't have this much volume until like second third day here because normally my first day it's like very weighed down because you guys can even see in the beginning of the video like i put a lot of product in my hair like not even just with the gel like with when i'm putting my leave in when i'm putting um my 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 cream in my hair too i put a lot of product in my hair just because i like to just moisturize my hair once Put a lot of products in, moisturize my, moisturize my hair once, and then leave it for the week. And if I have to like, touch it up again, like maybe like once more. But like, I'm not trying to be going back and forth with my hair like three or four times a week to moisturize it. Like, no, I'm trying to moisturize it once, maybe twice for the week, and then done, and then wash my hair again and repeat. So, like, I'm not trying to do all that. So, I do put a lot of products in my hair, so that weighs it down usually for the first day. And when I say the first day, I mean like once my hair is fully dry, the next day is my first day. I don't count 
the day I'm actually styling my hair. So yesterday doesn't count when my hair was drying. Today is technically my first day is what I count it as. So normally I wouldn't have this much volume until my second or third day. So my, cause my hair will be more weighed down from all the product and all the gel. So that's a good thing, but it also could be a bad thing. Cause I don't know how long my wash and go will last me this time since it's like already like I don't know like this voluminous and this soft already like I feel like when I use this gel and I even though it does leave me a bit of a hard cast for the first day I could, I could easily scrunch it out so it's not a big deal but I think the hard cast and like it weighing down my hair a little bit for the first day I feel like it helps my wash and goes last longer because throughout the days when it gets more voluminous and then my the the, the hard cast like that goes away after you know a few days or if I don't scrunch it out by myself so you know like I feel like this gel makes my hair last longer but i guess we'll see like i'm not gonna knock this it's my first day so i guess i can update you guys see let you guys know how long my wash and go did last me but if you if you're someone who likes um voluminous hair on your first day and you want to wait for the couple of days then you actually might like this for that so yeah that is my final review i do like the product overall would i buy it again yeah why not like i mean it's only like four bucks so i mean why not would i go searching for it mm, probably not but if i see it yeah why not i'll pick it up overall the product's okay i think i'd rate it like maybe 7.5 8 out of 10 so that's still pretty high i mean i do like that i had the black castor oil and the flaxseed oil in it so that's really good like i could really I could really tell that there is a lot of oils in this product versus this one just has the argan oil. Like I can, you could definitely tell the difference between the two. So that's good. But anyways, yeah. So let me know. Let me guys know if you guys ever tried this product. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.